Hi, uh, Warrior. It's Shrapson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we completed the dungeon of Black Fathom Deeps. And today, we are in Nomergon. Looking forward to this dungeon. Can we just jump here? Oh, I think we pulled something. I remember jumping right here. Don't have any quests for this place. Guess we have to like pick them up. Oh wait, we're we're hordes, so we probably just don't even get quests here. Can we jump this? Are we gonna use the parachute? There we go. Yeah. There we go. We might as well. Oh, did that guy die? <laughs> almost did. Some of us used the parachute, some of us didn't. All right, here we are. Let's go find the first boss. But yeah, speaking of Nomergon, an event happened on the 12th called Running of the Gnomes. I've never experienced this event. I have seen... Um, up. I've seen Misty Mountain Gaming do it at one time, and I thought it was pretty damn cool. And it happened on the 12th, and what, what it is, it's a event that that is supposed to uh, give uh, awareness to breast cancer. And a bunch of nobs wear pink. They have, like, pink hair, wear, like, pink transmog. And they run from Nomergon all the way to Booty Bay. Pretty cool event. I'll try to get into it next year. Hopefully I can remember. I've never participated in it before. But it would be cool to check it out one time. It's on retail, I believe. Pretty sure. And it's on the Scarlet Crusade server. Now this boss is level 29. Maybe we're a little too low for this. I think we'll be okay, though. Healer's keeping us up. But we are missing quite a bit of hits. But we're keeping aggro. We should be fine. But yeah, it'd be a cool event to check out. It's a lot of fun. Well, from what I've seen, it looks fun. Stidic Waters, 59 armor, 5 stamina, 8 intellect. Proves critical strike rating by 5. Not for us. Cloth boots. Well, let's keep on moving. That's the first boss. And there are some quests here. Which ones are these? I think the Horde doesn't really get too many quests in this. It's a Sparkle Matic quest. Which I think you need, like, key cards for. Pretty sure. We don't have any of those. I think you get them outside of the dungeon. So we leveled up, guys. We also have glyphs now. I'm going to have purchase some after this. We're going to pick some up off the auction house. And we can get another talent. So I guess we'll just get another rank of hold the line. Proves your critical strike and critical strike block chance by 10% for 10 seconds following a, following a successful parry. So there we go. We'll learn that. A shield just dropped. I wonder if it's better than the one we have. No, it's not. It's BOE, BOE shield. I think we can keep moving. Maybe pull another mob here. Yeah, we did. My bad.
It's not too bad. These guys are a little bit higher level than us. We might have some trouble with the bosses, but I think we'll be fine. The only thing that kind of sucks is we are missing our our rends. Whenever we try to rend, sometimes it misses. Same with our uh, our shield slam. We need to get our hit rating up. By us. Oh, we pulled a bunch of stuff actually. Guess somebody was a little too close to the to the wall there. Hopefully we can survive this. We're taking quite a bit of damage. Get on the lowest target here. Healer's pretty damn good though, he's keeping us up. Oh, main hand sword. Two strength, three agi. Yeah, not as good. Not as good as the sword we got. Shaman, a mage, and a shadow priest, and the rest of the So, not a lot of DPS that can benefit from Sunder Armor. I think we go this way. happened to the priest it's kind of strange when I was trying to queue up for this we had trouble getting enough um, enough DPS like we had a tank and a healer but we couldn't get we couldn't get a final DPS I don't know why it took so long I thought playing as a you know a tank would be like instant queues but it hasn't been like that at all I'm looking forward to getting the glyphs. That's really going to be a little bit of a power spike for us. Next boss, Electrocutioner 6000. Sunders up for an hand shaman here and ourselves. Even our single target's pretty damn good. And we don't even have. You know, BOA gear. Could you imagine we had BOA gear? 
Like tanking with VOA gear would be insane. All right, so you dropped here a nice one-handed sword, 18.4 damage per second, and it blasts a target for 11 to 23 nature damage. Can we use... I think we can use swords, pretty sure. Let's, let's roll neat on it. It's, it's like five more damage per second. We didn't get it. The, the rogue got it. Damn it. Yeah, I forgot about that. We have a rogue now in the group, which means... That rogue also benefits from uh, Under Armour. So I guess we got to jump off here. There's like a parachute. Do you remember there's like a parachute box? Isn't there? Okay, I'm going to jump down. Oh, oh yeah, we didn't have uh... a... <laughs> I'll taunt. Nice heals by the healer. <laughs> I, for, I thought we had our uh, rocket jump cooldown up, but uh, it was not up because I, I used uh, rocket barrage during the boss fight. It's too bad that they share a cooldown. Is this the way we have to go here? I believe it's this way, right? Yeah, it's down here. He wants us to go this way? All right, no problem. Maybe there's an extra boss they want to fight. This rogue does a lot of damage. As we won the we won the lockbox. I think rogue should like need on block boxes. Like, why not? Right? You're the only one who can really open them. Unless there's like an en like an engineer in the group. I think you have to be a pretty damn high level engineer to create picks for lock boxes. Why is there any music here? It's kind of strange. Usually they have that, like, Nomergon music going off. Yeah, loop music. I haven't heard any Nomergon music while we're in here. It's one thing I like about this dungeon is the, is the music. Mister. Yeah, there's a boss here that they want us to fight. Get him! Oh. I'm just gonna snipe the chest. Silver ore. You can actually roll on the silver ore. Not bad. So you can roll on most of the stuff. We, we picked up... I just want to see what we got. We got a health pod and some... And some and like a herb. This isn't too much. But you do get some for opening... For something for opening it. And the raid they did in Season of Discovery was pretty good for this, this dungeon. I like, I enjoyed it. And there it is, the boss, Crowd Pummeler. What the heck? Why can't I attack? Okay, 
Okay, good. Now we have aggro. Get some sunders up. I remember this boss drops pretty awesome weapon for the mace that has an on use and increases attack speed by quite a bit. Great for druids and vanilla, especially feral druids. Gnome bot operating boots. Leather boots, 90 armor, five stamina, eight intellect, five spirits. All right, so we did that. Now we have to, uh, to head down to the launch bay, I guess. Right? Nope, oh, somebody left. A healer left. What a... S <laughs> what a slimy move that was. Why would the healer leave? That's such a scummy thing to do. That was the person telling us to go this way. Right? I guess we'll be using all these health bots, guys. Yeah, that's we actually went that way to help the healer. And then once the boss was killed, they, they left. Kind of weird. I don't know why they wouldn't want to, you know, finish the, the dungeon. But you already got a new one? Is that the same healer? It might be. What the heck? And then they left. Again. What the heck? All right. Good old World of Warcraft, guys. That's another thing about retail or just like Dungeon Finder that sucks. People just leave dungeons. Don't even care. That, that rarely ever happens in, in vanilla. Because it takes so long to like, you know get to the dungeon... You know, get the group going. If you leave, you're not just going to get into another dungeon right away unless you get summoned by a warlock. So. Probably should use, like, a bandage, I guess. Be nice if the shaman... Yeah, there you go, buddy. You are the healer now. I know, I know his heals doesn't have that much heals, but it's better than nothing. Oh, my gosh. And then the DPS left. They were going the wrong way here. Are we going the wrong way? Yeah, we want to go over here. My bad, guys. Hopefully we find a DPS and a healer, man. But yeah, leveling in Cataclysm, it's in a rough spot right now. There's not a lot of people playing seems like there's not a lot of people leveling characters either. The towns are full, though, but it's all like 85, level 85s that are most likely just raid logging. It seems like. Like, that's crazy how we got the same healer twice. But maybe that was the end of the dungeon. It can't be the end of the dungeon, right? Like, we have to have at least one more boss left. Was it, was it the final boss? Like, how was that healer able to just abandon the dungeon and then queue up for another one like that? Usually you get, like, deserter for a little bit, right? Not too sure if we'll be able to kill the final boss. We'll have to see. No wipes either. We didn't wipe once. We're actually going pretty quick through the dungeon. But that wasn't enough. I need to get a bandage upgrade too. I wonder if we can actually do that. Oh, we should be alright. 
As long as we have the shaman throwing some heals at us a few times. Should be fine. Just keep Sunders up and the rogue and the shaman can tear this guy apart. And if you queue into this as a random dungeon, it's pretty damn good. You get to get the last boss right away and you get the random dungeon benefit. Almost instantly. Which is XP and that satchel. Gives you some pretty damn good gear. Yeah, now I'm going to be kind of... I'll probably still like help people out if they want to do a certain boss but that was such a lame move <laughs> yeah I'm not too sure what we'll play next guys on the channel for the wow character or what the level next I don't know we probably won't do cataclysm again that's for sure Done quite a few Cataclysm playthroughs in the last couple months. We'll either check out retail or probably do hardcore. I haven't done hardcore in a while. Fun to get back into hardcore again. I don't know if we'll do solo self bound or. Another version of hardcore. Get this here. There's regular hardcore where we can just do dungeons and use the auction house and stuff like that. I haven't done solo self down. Well, I have done it on the road. It's kind of did. Pretty much did solo self down. Didn't use the auction house or do any dungeons or grouped up at all with anyone. Didn't do any trading either. It's pretty much what solo self down is. But I would do the, check that out again. It would be fun to, to play Solo Self Found. It's quite the journey, though. Ah. Man, I don't know if I should have ran into this. Nice heal. Try to use everything we can here. Get this guy down. We should be good. Get him down. Nice heal. Try to get some, like, sunders up. The shaman's really helping out. Actually getting through this as a three, three man without a healer. Well, I guess the shaman's kind of a healer. Heals are pretty damn good for, you know, someone who doesn't have any intellect here. Right? Mostly all are just agi stam. Yeah, there's got a little bit of intellect on his cloth. Wrists. Uh oh. How the heck did that happen? Should be okay, I hope. Gotta get that thing down. Oh, this is terrible. Ooh! Kinda need the rogue to deal with that. I don't know what we're gonna do here, but as long as we get something, one of these things down. I think maybe the shaman will have like a. be able to res? I don't have health pot. Get him down. It's one down. Got a little bit of a heal there. He's the next lowest mob. Century? Getting wrecked here. I'm dead. I could have health fought it at the end. I'm doing pretty good, though. Supposedly we have says we have three DPS. Now does the shaman have Ankh? Could ask.
No. Not a rogue left. Oh my gosh. Do we... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we, we failed. Truder alert, guys. And uh, we got... Had a toxic healer in our group. That really sucks. Well, I guess we'll leave Q. Hopefully that'll teleport us out of the instance. What a sad dungeon. Couldn't even finish it. One more boss. Well, we're going to get our glyphs, guys. Let's go do that. Cha-ching! All right, so what glyphs do we want? Let's type in Thunderclap. Glyph of Thunderclap. Firmly teach you this glyph. Increases the radius of your Thunderclap ability by two yards. And we don't have enough gold for all these. I'd have to transfer some gold from my, uh, from my, my Balanced Druid. Let's just see if we can afford any of these. Glyph of Intimidating Shout. No, it's pretty expensive. They're like Battle. Glyph of Battle Shout. I think it's called Glyph of Battle. Yeah, 42. That's actually a deal. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, we don't have the coin for this, guess. I'll have to send some over. I will... We will... I'll send some over next episode. It's too bad. It's another one. But yeah, this increases the duration of Battle Show by two minutes. And the AoE of it by 50%. Yeah, there is another ability... Yeah, battle show. Forget this. I forget the other one. No shipments coming in soon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, shield slam. That will probably be expensive. Anyways. Let's see what that's like. Yeah, very expensive. 111 gold for Glyph of Shield Slam. So we need around like over 200 gold want? around there. To. Get a Glyph of Shield Slam. Let's check the auction house, though. We'll sell a few things. See if we made any sales. Maybe we can actually afford a... Yeah, we actually can afford a Glyph now. Nice. For 52 gold. I know a buyer when I see one. Nice. The auctions are helping us out. So let's get Thunderclap. No, it's too expensive. Actually, we'll get Shout. <laughs> How much is it? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Battle Shout. Wolf Cliff. What do we use for this again? Cliff of Battle? Yeah. Yeah, this is like the cheapest one. We have a lot of stuff to sell. Alright, so let's learn this. It's just a, a minor glyph. That's probably why it was so cheap. There we go. Now our the duration of our battle show will be... It'll be longer. We won't have to spam it as much. It's four minutes instead of two minutes now. This stuff sells itself. And we'll uh, run a post scan here. And we'll sell some of these items. I doubt this belt of the monkey sells for that much.
Got a lot of little bit of junk in our bags. We're starting to get silk cloth now, so we should have a decent amount of wool. Do so we can do a little bit of first aid. These tiger gloves should sell. I'm gonna post them. Pretty damn good. Three strength, three agi male gloves. As long as the person doesn't have BOE gear or BOA gear, then he might want that. Sash of the owl cloth waist. It's not bad. We'll see if we can sell that. Blossomed bracers. No, it's. I don't think those will sell. Hunter muzzle loader. Probably not. Sword probably won't sell. Have to do a little bit of disenchanting. Dark iron leather. Just like leather armor, yeah. Swift thistle we could sell. Oh, iridescent pearls are actually 196 gold. Could you imagine that actually sells for that much? Wow. That would help out a lot. Small lustrous pearl, four gold. Keep the wool cloth, sell the clam meat. This should be good. Stout Battle Hammer of the Tiger. Two Strength, Two Agility, Mace. Keep our skinning knife, and, and that's it. You drive a hard so we'll see if that stuff sells, guys. I hope it does. Make a little bit of coin. We're down to 15 gold now. I'll probably give him, give this character like a 1,000 gold. Zug, zug. And we will... Just won't really have any gold issues. Should I give him a thousand gold? Or should I wait and like earn my glyphs? Could do it that way too, which is it's a fun way of playing the game, but you could always save that for hardcore. That's what we will be doing when we play hardcore. For the horde. Some more junk down here. What can I do for you? There we go. Farewell. Tons of items to disenchant. I'll do this. Should I do all this disenchanting offline? It takes a while to. I'll show you. I'll show you. It won't take that long. It's cool that it levels up our enchanting, though. Not too sure. I never really in vanilla if this, you actually level up your enchanting with um, disenchant. I don't think you can. I guess that's why the materials aren't worth that much because you don't really need them to level up enchanting. Pretty sure in vanilla you you need to actually enchant gear to level enchanting. Like you can't just level it by disenchanting stuff. Which makes it actually pretty expensive uh fashion to level. Getting a lot of strange dust now. Can't we disenchant that? weird
Yeah, there we go. I wonder if we can just get enchanting max just by disenchanting gear. Might as well enchant some gear too. Well, we have all these mats. Let's see what we can enchant. Still get some. Still put dodge on bracers. It's not bad. Let's do that. Maybe we should go with. Yeah, we'll go with minor health. Since we have so much dust. I think our chest needs minor health as well. That could have helped there at the end. Maybe we wouldn't have died. If I had these in <laughs> the gear enchanted. Alright, so let's see what we can do with first aid here, guys. Hopefully we can learn wool cloth soon. I remember enchanting, I mean, first aid just being around here. This is a grunt. Hey, what do you want? A goblin grunt. It's right here. I get no respect around here. Well, it looks like we need a little bit more to get you wool bandage. So we actually need more linen cloth. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get linen cloth anymore. I'm starting to get silk. It's because we're leveling so fast. I might actually have to purchase some linen cloth off the auction house so we can catch up and actually use up this uh this cloth that we're collecting. We'll do that later though. Next episode, I'm going to queue up for probably another dungeon. It's crazy. i queued up for this. Looking for players for a while here. Yeah, we'll queue up for Stockade or No or Gone again. And we'll try to, uh, to get into one of those. We'll just queue into a random dungeon. And hopefully we can actually clear Nomergon this time, guys. But that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.